Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the superpower of super sleuthing. You know, all of this inventing is hungry business. I think it must be time for a snack. Ah, cookies. I love cookies. I... <gasps> Where have all my cookies gone? The jar, it's empty. What's this inside here? Somebody has stolen my last cookie and they've left behind a dirty tissue. Maybe it's a clue. I'm going to find out who the thief is and get my cookie back. I'm going to need to do some serious building for my superhero detective toolkit. The first thing I'm going to need to become a detective is a disguise. That will mean that I can go undercover and track whoever took my cookie without ever being noticed. I could change my clothes. Oh, but I don't think that would be enough. Also, with face recognition technology, my identity would still be the same. Do you know about face recognition technology? It's where cameras and computers can scan your face. It's called biometrics. You might have seen something like this being used by a computer or a smartphone, where they can unlock just by seeing your face. Biometric scanners work by measuring the distance between different parts of our face. To make a great disguise, we're going to need to make something that not only fools the baddies, but also the biometric scanners. I'm going to need something to help me look different wherever I go. Okay, for this experiment, you will need cardboard tube, one long or two short, scissors, tape, ruler, pen, string, and some paper or some card. Start by taking your cardboard tube and measuring out three three centimetre sections and then cut them out. Now with your little bit of tube left over, fold it to make a wedge. I'm going to fold mine over a few times. This is going to be the wedge that divides up a space so that you have space for your eyes to go. So figure out what that distance is and then figure out how big your wedge needs to be about the size of my wedge, and then tape the wedge in between your two tubes. So you should have a pair of what look like funky glasses. Now take the third ring and tape it underneath, and this needs to go where your nose is. There you go, just like this. Now you're going to need to make different disguises for different occasions. So on your paper or card, draw some different facial features. You could draw a nose or a mouth, um, I'll draw a nose and a mouth and maybe even a moustache. And if you're going to draw something that hangs down like a mouth, don't forget that you need to attach it via a tab. I'll cut these bits out. Now you're going to need to make an attachment mechanism. Take your other tube and cut up the middle and then cut it in half the other way. Now you're going to want to roll it up so it's a little bit smaller then your other tubes. So it will fit in here and then tape it shut. Now depending on how many disguises you want, depends on how many of these tubes you make. So there's one. Next you want to stick your facial features onto this attachment tube. So you can stick your nose on like this. And then if you want something that hangs off your nose, fold the tab over and then stick it underneath like this, and that way, when you put it in to your nose tube, it will hang down to where your mouth is. You can do that with a moustache or some lips, depending on what you want to do. Finally, you're gonna need to cut a length of string that fits almost around your head. Take one of them to the side part where your eye will go, so here, and then hold it so it holds around your head, and then take wherever it needs to be on the other side so it should fit on and hang on my face and you can trim off any extra string that you have. Okay, this is it. My super disguise holder is ready. Now for the moment of truth. Can I use this disguise tool to fool anyone? Let's try it on first. Okay, it fits. Now I've got lots of different interchangeable pieces here. I could have my funny nose like this with my lips. What do you think? Recognize me? Or I could have 
my nose and my moustache. What about this one? Let's ask my delightfully diminutive detective, Nano Nano Girl. Hey, Nano Nano Girl, what do you think of this? Whoa, no, it's, it's me. Don't try and fight me. It's, it's me. Ha ha, my disguise must be better than I thought. Ha ha, ba. Yes, it is me. Why would you try and fight me? Oh, you didn't think it was me. You thought I'd been kidnapped. Oh, thank you for trying to save me. Well, I haven't been kidnapped, but an equally terrible thing has happened, Nana Nana Girl. Somebody has stolen the last cookie from the cookie jar. I know, that's right. I do need to track them down. And yes, my disguise will help because it's awesome, that's why. What, you want a disguise too? Oh, okay, I can make one for you. I just need to go find a cardboard nanotube. I'll be back.